Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the black-bellied storm petrel, birds which are quite mysterious and poorly known. I hope you enjoy. At about 20cm in length and weighing about 55 grams, black-bellied storm petrels are found throughout the Southern Ocean, where they mainly breed on the many subantarctic islands surrounding New Zealand, and are sometimes seen here off of the southern coast during their breeding season. They are often seen gliding close to the water to pick off prey, being highly pelagic, feeding close to or beyond the continental shelf. They are black overall in colour, having a white band on their undersides and under their wings, with them overall being quite bulky for a storm petrel, also having long legs, with the feet being clearly visible beyond the tail in flight. In New Zealand at least, they are something of a mystery, as while they are not uncommon at sea, their activity on land is otherwise very poorly known. Few ornithologists have ever been on their breeding grounds when they're most active, as they breed during the autumn, a time after most research expeditions have already left. Their eggs have only been seen three times in the New Zealand region, in 1929 and in 2018, and the chicks themselves have never been seen. They locally breeze on the Auckland and Antipodes Islands, with them after laying their eggs in small burrows, then migrating north in May and June to more tropical regions like around South Africa and various other regions. On the Auckland Islands, they breed on the outlying islands, which do not have introduced mammals on them, with them likely being wiped out on both the main Auckland Islands and Campbell Island by rats and cats, respectively. On the Antipodes, they coexist with mice, though the extent to which they affect them is very poorly known. Their local population is largely doing well though, with about 50 to 100,000 pairs being estimated, and with many of the islands where they breeze having in some cases never been landed on to undertake more thorough looks, there is a great deal more we have to learn about them. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you now able to vote for the Little Shag, being absolutely named as the smallest of their kind in New Zealand, and having highly variable plumage that makes identifying them somewhat tricky. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.